How's it going? I was asked. I did a, a wet video a while ago with a, a green Peter and also did a, a video along with it how do you make the wings. So the wings sets are in a previous video. It'll just take me a bit too long to do the whole video. I'm only starting out here. I'm not going to do a whole mad long video and uh, I can't edit it and make it look good. So this one I've been asked to tie a version, a modeler version of the green Peter. So the wing set as I say is made in another video. I'll uh, Direct you to that if you want to know how the wings are made, but they're just hen pheasant slips doubled up and put them beside one another, four slips in total. So, this fly is basically the same fly but just a muddler head. So, I was asked if I would do a video, so here it is. The hook on the base is a B175 size 10, you can do these in size 12s as well. <coughs> and we start off with a wire first because there's no tail in this fly, so catch in your wire. The thread is a 70 denier. UTC and it's all up. You can make it black, whatever colour you like. Just come down past the bar just a wee bit since this has got no tail. You started a wee bit earlier. The back of the fly is red seeds for it. Just a little bit of that. I would take this from this point now to just past the point of the hook now from a red section of the, the red earth green peter. A red tagged green peter, whatever you want to say. Red butt, red tag, red ast, red arst, whatever you like. The next um, part is olive seal spurt. So we uh, get ourselves a wee bit of that there again. You can change this to a different colour. I've done many different versions of this with Highlander green and this part as well and it works good. So this is just a medium olive, a little bit lighter side not quite as dark as some but it suits the green peter it's a nice it's a lighter olive i think suits it a little bit better but as i say i've done it in highlander green and hot green for this part as well so you're going to leave yourselves a good bit of room here because there's a model i had to go on the next thing to go on in this fly is a natural brown game red as well it works a uh, cock neck or saddle, whichever you have. So, get that tied on. I tie mags on it to base my palmer tackles, it just works out better. And I use cocks most of the time, unless I'm specifically wanting to dress a fly in a particular way, I might change it to a, a hen hackle, but most of the time it's a, a cock neck or a cock saddle. So, this one's a natural brown. I'm going to move all my bits and pieces out of the way here. There we go. Um, I'll try the hackle pliers again, as I say in my previous videos. I don't like using the hackle pliers. I tend to mess things up, so I tend to use my hands, but you can't see what I'm doing. So I'll do one, two full turns, and then I'll start traveling down the body. And nice, even, open turns, as many as you like. And I will just do one full turn at least on the red. Wonder with my rub. Catch on your palmered hackle and then just come up through it. Not panicking too much about catching too many fibres. You'll tend to spring out of the way. If you get to the head where you put on the extra turn, you might want to wiggle it a little bit, a little bit to get it sink down in there. Now, my last turn before I come up through, I'm going to pull back everything out of the way. Oh, everything out of the way. Bring my rub up to 12 o'clock. Bring my thread tight against it and bring it to 12 o'clock. As I'm bringing it to 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock position, I bend the wire to its horizontal and parallel, sorry, I should say, with the shank. And carry it down to the eye. Keep tension in your thread. Break and wire that away. Now, as I said, I did a separate video. It took me about five minutes just to explain it because I'm not good at explaining <laughs> things. Uh, how do you make wet fly wings? It's the exact same wings I'm going to put in this modeler. I also have the wet fly version of this fly tied with just a hand hackle. Punished in the front, but I was asked if I would do one for a guy who's just starting out and one of his favourite flies to fish as a Peter modeler. He wants to learn how I tie it, so I says I'd do it for him after he's seen the wet play video. I'm sorry I can't remember your name, but as I say, you get your hand flies and stuff, stick two from either side, take two from the left and two from the right, stack the two from the left and the two from the right on top of one another. And then introduce the two of them as a pair. 
I have the video in great detail on how to do this. So for now, I'll just show you how you tie it on. You gauge your distance, whichever way you want it back. I use my finger here, and then I can move it back and forth, whichever way I like. I like it just to come to the back of the hook. Fold these down over the palm or body. Just checking that everything is nice. Come up with a loose pinching it now. Before I tighten down, all these ends can move, but the ones behind cannot. So keep a good tight hold of the wing and do another pinching loop. And again, slowly tighten down. Let these move, but not the ones behind. And then we'll have a look at the wing and see what it's like. That one didn't turn out too bad. So we'll put another two wraps on just to secure it. Now I'm going to keep holding this wing before I cut just in case it moves because this is not fully secured just yet. So you want to get down as close as you can to minimize this, the size of the head here. So now I'm going to pull everything back and travel to the eye. I put two or three wings on, or two or three wraps on. And before I uh, finish the head up here, I'm going to put a wee drop of either really thin head cement varnish or super glue, just a dab on the top of those loose ends and let it soak in so it guarantees that wing's going nowhere. You don't have to, but I was always told to do it, so I do it. Now I complete tying on all those cut ends, ready for the The muddler head. Now again, the muddler head. I have the as a golden olive or golden brown. Sorry, deer here. As you see, you cut it off at the base. It's got a lovely colour in it. You red out all the rubbish and put it on a hair stacker. You tap it out. I'll do a separate video on how to prepare the hair if anybody's interested again. But this is more just how I do my Peter's muddlers. I take out the hair from the hair stacker, pinch it in my right hand if you're left-handed. Do it in your left hand and to juice it to how long you want it. You gauge again with your finger by extending it back and forth. I want it about half the wing, half the distance of the wing. There's a few loose ends in there I don't want. So I want it about half the wing. I transfer that over now to my other hand. I get a pair of scissors and I don't like trimming afterwards. So what I do is, is I trim about five millimeters away from the end of my finger. This is, you get used to doing this once you do it once or twice. And just get it all nicely trimmed. Now I'm going to introduce it to the hook and leave that little five mullet sticking out. We'll stick out past the eye and that should keep everything, or enough for your head anyway, looking right. So keep one loose wrap, don't tighten two loose wraps. And then as you're spinning the hair and you tighten down, you'll feel it starting to spin. Don't keep a hold to it at that stage. Let it spin, but don't let it go before that. So I'm going to tighten down as I see it spin. I'm going to let go. Now this hair here is pretty good. It wants to spin nice, but some doesn't. You might have to want to encourage it around a wee bit if it's a little bit sparse. But I say this one spun nice, so it's okay. Now take a couple of wraps and wiggle your thread through if you want to not to catch. Try not to catch any of the wrong ones. Bring it forward. If you get closer to the eye. Then you want to sort of, this is just fuddly, there's not much you can do about this. Pull everything back and try and get at least one good wrap right at the if not two. Right, so. Now, the next bit is the messy bit, but I don't particularly like doing and messing around, so I don't like modelers. Is this is how I finish them, other people finish them different ways, but this is how I was shown to do it. You put the varnish on the thread. Just a little bit to get a turn or two. Pull back everything, try not to get the varnish or the super glue on your fingers. And just get that varnish section of thread in there. And then get your work finish tool. And again, I'm not good at finishing these things. These guys that are better than me, I'm going to block up everything, but I pull everything back. Get the work punish tool up on. Just try your best. As I say, it's not always easy. Get one, two, three wraps on. 
get this all now before I tighten up like I would normally tighten now you would just tighten up on a wet plate I'm going to get my nail and tuck anything that might be sliding forward just under before I tighten down this will save it flaring out so now I'll just tighten and tighten down and take out your little bit of thread and now again this is another bit why I don't like tying these modelers but this is the save you a method of doing it to save you uh, have the trim afterwards and it's, it's just awkward to put it up, try and get that same runny cement and put it all over the eye, not all over the deer hair, all over the eye, it's going to block up the eye but you want, it has to soak in and get those thread wraps, there's just no ways about it so you're going to block up the eye but afterwards you can clean it out with your dubbing needle or the back end of a, a hacker, so I'm just going to make sure that's all something nice. And that's basically how I do my Peter Muller. Now that's very brown. The camera won't see great detail, but I have a good picture up on my Facebook if you want to see it. And that's a real flat face wake fly type model. I hope that helps somebody. And as I say, you want to clean out the eye now with a double needle or a back of a hackle is ideal. So you definitely don't want this thing getting blocked up. So do another coat of that there the same way. Put it on the eye, let it soak in, clean it, and that should be perfect with a green Peter Muller. Thank you. I hope I help somebody.